What's going on, everybody? So uh, today I wanted to talk about a replacement for Pippin um, and potentially a, a really, really important decision that you're going to want to make because unfortunately Pippin is one of the few light side early game healers that you can access and it's kind of a necessary evil. Well, was a necessary evil for most people because he's going to provide a very, very solid heal, and oftentimes that's one of the most important things to fit within your squad. But with the release of Lord Elrond and the fact that we need elves, okay, I would like to suggest a pretty impressive replacement for Pippin, and that is actually Miramiri. And honestly, when I started talking about the new early game team in my previous video, I went over Naramiri and I was like, hmm, she's actually pretty good. And I did a little bit more research and I kind of was trying to compare a little bit of the numbers. And if you just look here, she actually has a full heal all squad members, which is pretty insane. And uh, it's a pretty solid heal, right? It's 10% of her max HP. It's got 100 health. She can also generate one stamina to one random elf ally and... Because Elra here is now sort of a free-to-play farmable unit, you could actually use Elra here, whom you're going to use for Lord Elrond anyways, because the stamina can actually be very, very good. And uh, the healing is very, very solid. In fact, if we get to the third ability, it's going to be a total of 12% max HP and 400 healing. If you compare that to the third ability of Pippin here, so I'll scroll up, which is reasonably easy to acquire, you'll note that um, it is 500 healing, and 12%. So you get 100 extra healing um, and, you know, the same percentage. But what's really cool about it is Pippin's heal only heals, um, well, that amount. And that's it, right? It's not doing anything else. And on top of that, which is pretty crazy, the Naramiri, because we're using her healing ability here, she actually has a cooldown less than Pippin. So you're losing 100 HP healing, but if I were to go through and let's say I were to pull up my L right here, here, who, you know, has a lot more HP than probably you would have at level three, you'd see 7,770 HP. 100 healing all means hardly anything. Okay, It's really based on the max HP of that unit. So healing is almost exactly the same. And the important part, as I said, is the fact that, well, despite this, you know, you know, getting that four stamina early and then you get one more stamina and then you can use it, you don't oftentimes need that stamina early on in the, into the rounds. And uh, when you have Naramiri's healing, you guarantee get it, right? Which you don't really need. But when you do use it and when you do need it, you'll get back to that cooldown quicker. And you'll get that stamina to one random elf ally. Now, I've actually not tested this, but uh, because she is an elf, I'm not actually sure if this actually gives the stamina to herself. Uh, if that's the case, that's even more insane. That's a three-turn cooldown heal, even without Elra here. But the reason I suggest this is not just because it's comparable. Well, where can you farm her? Well, she's actually farmable on 2-1 of guild campaign, which is very early on into the game, okay? Uh, and you might be able to upgrade Pippin to like the first or second gear tier and then immediately be able to unlock Naramiri. The more important part, and this is where it gets really critical, is the fact that she is an elf and elves are starting to become the biggest powerhouse of the game. So if you picked up Arwen, let's say, and you're going to pick up Eladin, right? Well, those characters are going to earn their way towards Lord Elrond, hopefully. And with Lord Elrond unlocked, you're going to have potentially another healer that you could potentially use. Um, but also upgrading Naramiri's gear tier, you're probably going to have to do that anyways to get to tier 5, uh, assuming that's who you're going to use, right? You have a couple other options, but most people are going to use, um, you know, Elra here. They're going to use Lamion. They're going to use Naramiri. Uh, they're going to use Elilio, which is the 4, and then they're going to pick between Elodin or Arwen as the 5th. Generally speaking, because, well, Arwen and Elodin are going to be harder to farm as they, you know, whatever they drop, right? So, investing in Naramiri, which I think is probably going to be necessary as she's going to be the kind of key healer in this comp um, until you get Lord Elrond. It's going to be pretty important to kind of gear her up for that anyways. And so, 
you're going to get a little bit more value than you would have out of Pippin. And I already think that Nier Mary is slightly better than Pippin. And it's very comparable to Farm the Stars. There isn't really a big difference uh, between Pippin and Nier And you're just going to get a little bit more value in terms of the priority of resources. Because at the end of the day, making sure that you have the kind of comps built out that you want, but also filling in multiple roles is kind of the key point of any resource allocation game, which this is. And a little bonus fact here, you could actually use, in my opinion, the probably second, maybe the third most important um, challenge in the entire game. I think the Forge in the Deep is the most important, right? So humans and goblins actually have some inherent additional value because you want the light crystals, right? Treasure Trove is going to be the second most important, which, you know, Naramiri is going to work for as well. But actually, the Dark Relics is going to be the third most important, in my opinion, because you need these Shadow Crystals for leveling up your characters. And Naramiri is going to give you that option to be used in the Dark Relics, as well as the Light Side Team Comp, which is going to be pretty important. Whereas Pippin um, is used not really in too many things comparatively, because he is a hobbit and uh well he doesn't really have fit any of the true tags right he's got the hobbit tag he's got the support tag he doesn't even have the healer tag technically uh, which is kind of weird um but you know someone like Naramiri here she's got the um the healer tag and the light tag and the elf tag so she can even fit into far more comps than pippin in the challenges menu as well so i think it's all bonuses for naramiri except for that initial kind of hiccup where you need to get guild campaign 2-1 i don't actually remember exactly when i was able to unlock that but i know it was very earlier on into the game and um as long as you're able to kind of get this in a three star which is again relatively easy you're going to be able to unlock her and what's also kind of nice about it is Instead of, you know, sitting there and farming, let's say, Pippin, well, you're going to get way more gold, way more ability materials, etc. for farming Naramiri on her stage, which is going to be pretty cool as well. And of course, you can always unlock her, go back for Gauze Ironhide for the insane member of the Shadow team that he is. But, um, you know, at least you'll have the Naramiri at, you know, whatever star. I believe it's one star that she unlocks. So, just something for you all to consider a replacement for Pippin for free-to-play players. Because Halberod is great, don't get me wrong, and I'd rather have Halberod than Naramiri on my team. But Halberod doesn't fit in the elf comp, and he is someone that you actually have to grind to quite significantly. So not upgrading a healer is going to put you back quite a bit. However, upgrading Naramiri is going to kind of give you a little bit more residual value over the course of time. Because to be honest, even though Pippin is necessary for Sam's journey, which will be nice in the future... Sam's journey requires a very high gear tier when you enter tier two, as far as I've seen. Um, you're most often, I believe, going to need about gear five is what I've seen to kind of do this. And you're gonna, that means you're upgrading Frodo, Mary, and Sam to gear five in order for you to kind of compete. And well, that's a lot of gear investment. So although Pippin eventually will be geared, um, I think that right now, Naramir is probably going to be the better version or better option in order for you to have an easier pathway towards Lord Elrun and overall just a little bit more value on your account. Let me know what you all think in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one.